It's very important to respond to the needs of gifted students because there have been two bipartisan Senate Select Committees at federal government level that have identified that gifted students are the most disadvantaged in this country. So it's a, an issue of equity and it's critical that we provide opportunities for students to be able to demonstrate their abilities and to be able to perform at the level of their talents. At Corinda State High School, the way that we support the well-being of our gifted students is through our advocacy support. So our advocate sits with each of our students and makes sure that we are setting clear goals for those students to be achieving the best that they can. In particular, any student that is seen to be falling behind or becoming a little bit complacent in the classroom, we make sure that we intervene early in a positive manner so that we can identify what is going on in that child's world and what do they need from us to support them to make positive move forward in their education. I think it's just really important for schools to understand when they're developing a program for gifted education and gifted students that these students need support and extension in all areas as much as possible. So little pull out programs that happen for half an hour a week can be excellent and students can really enjoy them. However, it's really important that practice within the classroom and the classroom environment changes as well and that there's opportunity for extension and challenge every day. It's really important to make connections with the community outside of your school in terms of gifted education. Uh, there will be specialists in certain subject areas or areas of um, giftedness that may be able to help students. So for example, um, reaching out to organisations or even universities in order to help extend students further and access the knowledge and information that they need to really grow their talent. Um, there's also organisations that run programs like Brainways, Gateways, um, the Queensland Gifted and Talented Association, they're all really helpful in uh, running workshops and, and getting students engaged in areas that may fall outside of the curriculum. Um, it's also a really good way of getting students to connect with people on their level, which can often be something that gifted students struggle with in the classroom with their peer group. When supportive processes are in place for gifted students, you tend to find that they are engaged in their learning. So Mihai Csikszentmihalyi talks about the importance of flow, when students are truly engaged in their learning. And this is when we're able to provide um, a learning environment in which there is the perfect match between the student's skills, the skills that they've acquired, and the level of challenge or difficulty in the task. And it's only when students have this opportunity are they able to truly engage in learning and learn and develop incrementally.